Alright friends, aloha! Welcome back to A Simply Simple Life. I am sharing um, a recipe with uh, a family recipe, family favorite of Ina Garten's uh, Buttermilk Fried Chicken. Okay, I just got it off the Food Network. Okay, giving her credit. <laughs> Alright, it is now the next day. I am making this for lunch. It's been marinating for a little over 8 hours. I would say about uh, 12, uh, 12 hours. So in here I had put the buttermilk. Uh, slices of jalapeno did not remove the seeds uh, slices of uh, one shallot garlic and then salt and pepper and then whisk it together and then I had bought thinly sliced chicken breast that's it you have to marinate this uh, at least six or eight hours okay all right and then I have the stove on to medium high and then I have this like Dutch oven this is Martha Stewart but of course there's more expensive quality but they do recommend uh some sort of like a dutch oven right, i went ahead and preheated the oven to 250 degrees i have a baking sheet in there and then once i'm done frying and you should only fry about two at a time um and then put it into the warm oven to keep it nice and uh and tender all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and pour my oil it says that canola oil but i do not have a large amount of canola oil i do have a large amount of vegetable oil so i hope that works Okay, so while the oil is uh, warming up, I think I said parchment paper, I meant cookie rack. So it's just like this. And then it goes inside the oven. The oven is now preheated to 250 degrees. All right, so while you're waiting for the oil to reach 320 degrees, which I am almost there, mix together the dry ingredients, which is three and a half cups of just regular all-purpose flour. So I put that in there. And then two, I'm um, sorry, four teaspoons of baking powder, okay? And then I have two and a half teaspoons of um, smoked Spanish paprika. So I could not find um, Spanish paprika, so I just got the smoked paprika, and I just put two teaspoons in there. And then I also added one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, okay? And then also in here is one teaspoon of celery salt, okay? And then also, along with this one, you're supposed to go ahead and put like salt and pepper. I did add some salt and pepper onto here to flavor up the chicken while it's being marinated. So I'm only gonna add a little bit onto, um, onto the dry ingredients. Just mix that well together, and then we're gonna go ahead and move to the next process. All right, um, here's the uh, chicken, the marinade chicken. We're basically gonna double drench. So I'm gonna get one piece of chicken, put it into the flour mixture, tap it off, and then put it in there again, and then put it in here again, and then place it onto the, the Dutch oven. All right, so then that is double drench and then kind of shake off the excess. And then we are gonna move in here slowly. And you're only supposed to cook, cook this for about five minutes. Hard to work with one hand. Okay. And then just roll that. then just two at a time okay it's been about um two and a half minutes and then i just used half of this so it says about uh two inches of oil which i thought i had okay and then once um five minutes is up i'm gonna go ahead and put it into the cookie sheet and place it inside the oven uh to keep warm it smells amazing already I went ahead and turned it once after two and a half minutes. I did move the thermometer when I turned the um, chicken, but um, always keep it at 350 degrees. All right, it's been five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the chicken and place it onto the cookie sheet. I'm 
put this into the oven to keep it warm. Then right. once the chickens are in there, I put the thermometer back. Again, maintain 350 degrees and only for five minutes, turning it once to make sure that it's evenly coated. All right, friends, there we go. I cut it in half just so that you guys can see. Very nice and moist on the inside and then outside it's got that nice like flaky crust to it. This one I actually took out the crust on purpose because my little girl does not like crust. So um, the crust itself, you can actually, it's so crunchy. You can actually just bite onto this. It's nice and crispy. Mmm, so good. Come. Huh? Very delicious, I do agree. This is my aunt's favorite chicken recipe. Okay. Aloha, friends. Thank you for stopping by with a Simply Simple Life. Mahalo.